Many types of utilities like potable water, sewer, gas, telecom, and power commonly use the right-of-way of public roads. Especially in urban and suburban regions, right-of-way is becoming congested with utility infrastructure, including both buried and above-ground utilities. In South Carolina, transportation construction projects have conflicts with existing utilities that need to be resolved. The process is not always easy. Since location data for existing utility facilities is not always readily available or even accurate. As a result, some projects have been delayed due to utilities. Other projects have cost more due to the inability to avoid conflicts. SCDOT contracted Clemson University to investigate current practices and develop recommendations for minimizing utility-related delays. First, we studied current SCDOT practices through several focus groups and identified the factors that were potentially causing delays. We then completed an extensive review of literature on various utility-related delay factors and best practices that were reported to be helpful in addressing the delays. We then surveyed other state DOTs on in-contract utility relocations and reimbursement schemes that are of interest in this study. We subsequently surveyed South Carolina utility owners to better understand their perspectives on the causes of delays and how those could be resolved. The outcomes of these four tasks were critically assessed to develop a preliminary set of project recommendations that were further assessed through the consultation of multiple stakeholders before they were finalized. The first recommendation being implemented is improving communication and cooperation. By engaging with utility owners early and often, expectations are set for both parties. SCDOT also began to participate in local and regional coordination committees. Along with frequent communication, both parties need to be sure they are communicating with the best points of contact. It was recommended to create an escalation chain to share with the industry and keep company contact lists with titles. Another recommendation is to provide realistic and sufficient timeframes for utility owners to plan and relocate. It is most ideal for the agency to avoid late design changes and when unavoidable, communicate them early to give the utilities sufficient time. Another recommendation is promoting the use of adequate utility investigations, including below and above ground facilities in accordance with the ASCE 3822 standard for documenting existing utilities. Training agency staff who manage utility conflicts is crucial to the implementation of these recommendations. Our collaborator from Texas A&M Transportation Institute, Dr. Cesar Quiroga, and I have already hosted initial training for more than 60 SCDOT staff. The final in-use recommendation is having an on-call service contract for pre-letting, clearing, and grubbing separately from the transportation project contract. These recommendations have been shared with leadership and staff and have already proven to increase efficiency. We hope to expand this research to help develop a utility tracking database with a standard set of utility pay items and their historical costs. This will help us estimate the cost and risk of utility relocations while providing us comparable data that would let us know if we are receiving reasonable quotes from the utility companies and their impact on the project. Also researching ways to help utilities during the design phase would lead to further efficiencies by guiding them in acquiring engineering services. This will provide ways for utilities to work closely with the transportation project designers. 